Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to see if I can fix the timing on a track that I didn't record using a VST. In other words, I used the sound coming from my Korg Triton, played it directly into FL Studio. Now, when I do this, there's no such thing as quantization. So I have to fix my timing manually, uh, but I can also show you a shortcut. So I'm going to go into that video really quickly and show you how you can fix your timing when you're recording sounds from an external keyboard using FL Studio. All right, so here uh, is my line. First of all, I locate the audio in my playlist that I recorded. Now the quick and easy way to record sound into FL Studio is to use the ASIO driver. So if you set it for ASIO for all or your sound card will come possibly with its own ASIO driver, which mine does. I like the ASIO for all. It's a lot uh, faster, more reliable. What I do then uh, is go to my audio. I'll preview it, make sure this is the right audio. Now that's right. Now, but if you zoom into it really carefully, and you got to remember in music, timing is everything, right? So you can see that when I played it freehand, these uh, piano chords are not really hitting on the beat, right? So the quick way to fix this is to come to my pull-down menu on the audio in my playlist. Again, i got to be in the playlist. And I want to chop that audio. But I want to chop it in beats, right? Now, it's going to chop it in beats based on my quantization. So I want to make sure right now I have it set to none. I want to go back to my main. Uh, so I have it in a quarter beat. Now, chop it in beats. Now, make sure I don't do the beat shuffle. I want to chop in beats. Hit there. Bam. So every beat that it recognizes, it's going to chop it up. The next thing I have to do is go to uh, group. And I want to ungroup them. That means I can move the separate beats now separately. All right. So once I've done that, now I can see how I can move it separately. Great. So I did that. So now, in order to get it right on the line, I'm going to have to go back to my quantization or my snap to grid, which looks like a little horseshoe, come down to none. This will allow me to move it around without it snapping to the right beat. Right. So I have to move that. And then I have to move any adjoining audio to it. This actually gave me more beats than I needed, but more is better than less always whenever you're editing. More choices is always better than less. All right, so I'm just going to basically move it over until I get my audio snapped right to the beat. And then after I get it that way, now if I have a situation like this where I still got hangover, I'm going to pull that over. All right. This takes a little patience. A little, it's a little bit of work. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. Now, if I have any audio like this that still doesn't go on the beat, I'm going to have to go back to my main. All right. Back to my horseshoe. Snap it to main. And then chop it up again. Eh, maybe I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit more. All right, so now I can really, really chop it up the way I like because I'm close. Bam. Let's go back to none. Use my pencil tool. All right. All right, and I can go down the line and fix anything that's offbeat. Uh, here, this is offbeat. Again, if it's uh, I have to go in and chop a line. Uh, now I like to go back to my main because that gives me I don't know, it just gives me an opportunity to really uh, snap right to the line. But I don't have to. I can keep it on none and using whatever skill that I have. Boom! Chop it there. Right. Now I got that right on the beat. Uh, it doesn't seem like this is a big deal, but this is a big deal. This makes your whole music flow in the way that you intended it when you played it. Because I'm sure when you played it, you didn't say, hey, I'm going to play this as 
Well, sometimes you do. But most times we don't go, oh, I want to play this off beat as, as possible. What you want to do is try and make everything on, on beat as possible. So it can have that flow. Uh, unless you're intentionally doing a specific style of music, let's say like uh, Neo Soul, which has intentional offbeat rhythms just for effect, right? Okay, we're almost at the end here. It's starting to get easier once you, like once you do it, anything, as with anything, if you do it over and over again, you start to get a, a rhythm to things and you get to get a little bit more handy with it, which I think I have gotten a little bit more handy. Now that split didn't go well, so I'm just going to undo move clip, undo. All right. I'm going to try and do it again. I'm going to try and snap, uh, chop it again. Being a little bit more careful this time. Good. And then we'll play it back and then hopefully I have helped you. A lot of you guys are not doing this, so this may not uh, benefit you, but you might want to try doing this. The reason why is because uh, there's a lot more sounds available to you from external sources that you can put into FL Studio that doesn't have to come in a drum kit and it doesn't have to be... Uh, a loop that you buy or, or something like that. Now this one is going to be way off, uh, so I'm going to have to put it back in, in perspective. All right, I think I can go ahead now. Oh, if I stretch that out, that's not going to work. So I try to stretch it that way. Beautiful. See how that works? Uh, got everything on beat. That's it. Now I can play it back and listen to it. Also look for any gaps that might exist. See if I can close those gaps. Yep. Always check. Always check your work. Always be as thorough as possible. Don't take anything for granted. That one is a little bit off the beat here. I'm going to move it. There we go. Now we're getting to... Here we go. Let's play it back. Alright, there's a lot that I did to this, so I'll use uh, different parts of this track here to teach you uh, effects and all this other stuff. I got some good news. I used to, in 2009, I used to have a weekly class where you can log on with me and we did live class. I'm bringing that back. Live classes are coming back. Uh, it's going to be on Skype, so you have to send a Skype request to beat class log into Skype or download Skype and then send a contact request to beat class and you can get in on my weekly live class. I'm going to charge a small fee for a one hour lesson but you'll be able to we'll see each other live. I'll bring you right into my studio. You'll see everything that I do on the screen. We'll work on tracks. We'll do everything from recording to mixing, mastering, songwriting, uh, ear training, pitch, you name it, and software training to include FL Studio. All right, so looking forward to that. Uh, just definitely reach out to me. Join. Uh, it's going to fill up quick, so get your spot right away. All right, finally, once we get that done and we fix everything, we want to go back, highlight it, snap back to main, and then we want to make sure that we have regrouped these. So group it again. 
go to group and then group this way you won't accidentally slide anything out of place and also if you want to now copy this where you want it to go you can just recopy it and put it somewhere else so now you have a brand new part it's it's like a brand new part that uh, like you played it the right way which is exactly what we were trying to do uh, the first time here I did it I, there's some gaps that I didn't fix and I probably should do that real quick now and let's see if it's gonna let me do it it better let me do it it better let me do better let me do all right that's not working so I'm not going to worry about that now. What I'm going to do is erase it and then copy the one that I like over top of it. All right. So that's it for now. Remember, I don't put the full audio through anymore on uh, on YouTube because these are works that I'm doing business with and I'm not trying to give it out to the whole world. So that's why the quality quality of the audio is not perfect, but it's enough for you to understand what I'm doing. All right. One love. King David. Beatclass.com, DNG Music, all day, all night, baby. One love, peace.